Ah, uh, this is a cheerful map. <laughs> Zero enemies, how bad could it be? Rivix did really well with the atmosphere here, the gray and the... Uh... Oh, and I want to appreciate these mid textures here. Those things are so freaking annoying to make, so appreciate that. I also like the gray and burgundy uh, color scheme we got going on here. I feel like I don't see a lot of burgundy in Doom. But, either way, cool stuff. Now, this actually took me a lot of attempts to get, and this... This uh, first minute, it's like basically a minute wait section before the map actually starts, so... Um, kind of got on my nerves, but also movement. I, I do kind of enjoy doing movement stuff, so kind of perfecting my movement and watching it get better as I was doing this spot over and over is kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, now this uh, burgundy slime is going to be gonna be slowing you down, so... I got that to contend with as we deal with those guys, like what the hell are those? Well, they are basically insta -jib. like if they touch you, they will kill you immediately, and they're so fast. They have 100,000 health, you're not meant to kill them. But yeah, you gotta have pretty good movement, avoid the sludge as best as you can, but you can still get screwed around a lot of these corners, which is also why I'm shooting here too. Like you gotta pain, you can pain stun them um, by shooting pistol, which is nice, and that'll, that'll hold them for like a, a second, like just enough to hopefully that you can get away. And they also kind of stun like as they're moving, they just do that by themselves. So it's a pretty interesting enemy. And now that we're done with that area, this is the finale, pretty much. Um, I go for a soul spear there, I want to be at 200 when I do this. Um, yeah, so, wake up the guys, and I come around, hit those switches. Those switches are actually a lot harder to hit than that looked, you'll see the way it actually is, like, see? I am like mashing spacebar around there and still can't get them. But yeah, I, I usually hit a couple switches, just as many as I can, and then come back, try to pull those guys away, and then go back in for the switches. So yeah, see, they're doing their little stun animation like as they're walking. Very easy to get in your head, like you miss a switch and you try to get in and like press it again, but you're just pulling them closer or closer to you like that. Now since these guys are insta jib man, it just adds another dynamic to this. Like I'm over here, I saw them all, I couldn't figure out like a, a clean way around them, so I just ran over in this thing. And then this guy, I saw him behind me and I'm trying to shoot at him to like keep him back. And then I'm like pushing up against that wall just to get out. Those guys, they're so fast, like... Oh, like I... That was just wild. And you know, I have been screwed like right at the exit too. Um... One was like at that last switch that I had to press, one got me in the back because I kept trying to hit it over and over. And then another time I got screwed on the way to that wall, that lowering wall because of damaging floor, I had 8 health. Um, yeah, this map was messing with me, pretty much. Yeah, it's psychological, the deaths. The deaths being terrifying uh, because of the noise that they make and, you know, the insta-jib. On top of just, you know, the general being scared of losing a late run. Uh, I can show you what it looks like to um, die to those guys. So check it out. Instant death. So that's basically what happens. I mean, they can get you even with infinite height too. So I wanted to show you actually the, the D-hack. So they face target. This is when they attack you. So this is, uh, and it'll be melee. I don't know what specifies melee. I don't know this stuff very well, but um, yeah, they'll face target. And then, so... See that Sarge attack? That's a shotgunner attack. Like it's the equivalent of a shotgunner in your face shooting one, two, three, nine times. And then after, so that's like nine frames in a row of a shotgunner attack. And then it's followed by two explosions in a row. And those are like barrel explosions that do uh, 120, 128 minus your distance. So um, if you if you can run away from them like immediately, you can sort of mitigate the damage and maybe get away with like 50 damage or something. But yeah, pretty much um, they they will just they most of the time will kill you. Um, and yeah, sure enough, 100,000 health. They they will die if you kill them with um, BFG or whatever. You know, with cheats, they'll they'll just like vaporize into thin air. And uh, apparently they have a raise state too, so they can be revived. <laughs> kind of a shame, we won't see them again for the rest of Wormwood, but uh, cool stuff nonetheless. So 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know it was scary, but hopefully I was able to carry you through through my numbness after 181 attempts. But yeah, till next time. <laughs> Peace.